Today, um, it's another episode of Gearheads. Um, today we're going to be doing a Harbor Freight run, and I just wanted to show you the Polaroid Cube. And it will action before my truck, so I'll do a quick uh, truck check for you guys. <laughs> uh, I got some Dickies seat covers on here, Ford uh, mats, uh, like a monster mat type thing, or whatever you want to call them. Um, uh, Pioneer headset, or head unit. Um, bullet um, 44 mag door locks and I've got um, 44 mag uh, valve caps too. I got this little light at Walmart it just uh, pulls out here and uh, as you guys can see it's a little like 10 lumen LED light and it flashes um, so I got that just to stick in the uh, cigarette lighter because I didn't want anything um, else in there or it would just look dumb without anything in there so I was like it was like 10 bucks I bought it and then in ODI long neck grip around my ship knob uh, just for looks um, my keys nothing special um, so yeah I hope to have this the Ranger in the uh, some upcoming videos if you guys like want to see those just uh, let me know um, but anyways so I'm gonna be doing a Harbor Freight run and I figure I do a time lapse video of uh, me driving there so what I did is I've got this um, clip to mount on the dash right here so I do that and then this flips down and then I can sit the camera right on there and as you guys can see that shows my whole front end and, and then I can just take it off and move it around from where I want to so I just came up with that it didn't take too long um, but yeah, oh, and then uh, one more thing in the last video, if you guys watched it, about the review or the unboxing of the Polaroid Cube. Um, this is how the Wi-Fi one works. The display screen is on my phone, uh, so it's pretty cool um, to see that. It's really weird, but, um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, or, yeah, if you like, like that video and subscribe for more, but as I was saying... Uh, we'll get on with the, our way and make our way to Harbor Freight. Guys, we're at uh, Harbor Freight here, looking for a, uh, a little paint uh, sprayer, the oil sprayer. Let's see, let's see what we got. All right, well, I'm gonna take a look, and then I'll uh, let you guys know what I got. Alright guys, so we're back from Harbor Freight, and uh, I'll show you what I got. So, starting out, just uh, close that for a second. Alright, so I got the fitting that I needed for the uh, uh, paint sprayer slash uh, what I'm going to use it for is oil spraying, but I got the fitting for that, and then let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, always get, whenever you go to Harbor Freight, always get a free thing, free flashlight, quality. And here's the big thing, the paint sprayer. So, um, I got it's a general purpose one, as you guys can see. I picked up for 16 bucks all that stuff. Um, the fitting was a dollar, and like uh, the uh, spray gun was like uh, 18 or something. I got like 20% off of it, so it came to like 16. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, it's got. Um, 50 up to 50 to 70 psi is the like range. The max pressure 70, and it's a uh, compatible compressor requirement is a one to six, or not recommended is a one to six. Seven through 29 is uh, all right, but uh, I have an eight gallon, so we're right there. Um, I think I'll be good. Um, so and then the fluid and uh, 
pattern is one to a half inch up to nine to and a half inch uh, fan spread which is pretty freaking good I mean I I'm really just gonna uh, get this out um, and test it um, for uh, see how it runs with like some water and then get some oil and run it through and hopefully it does good um, it's a 32 ounce which it's a pretty big canister on there um, so I'm happy with that it's metal uh, the only thing that's plastic is the um, the uh, shroud like the gun itself I was gonna get a metal one but they didn't have it in a general purpose it was just in the uh, automotive and I was using it for other stuff so um, this ends um, the video for today. Um, hopefully tomorrow or something I'll get out and um, do some oil spraying. Um, and I also have um, the lawnmower uh, project coming up. Um, and then if you guys have been watching the Predator 212 series, uh, I know you guys are probably wanting that to come out. Um, I'll try to see if I can get around to it this weekend or sometime next week. Um, I've just been having some issues and I want to get some other stuff out of my shed so I can get it finished and stuff like that. So stay tuned for more and uh, please like and subscribe.